Hi there, and welcome back to this course on Introduction to Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. I'm Kate, and let's get started. The topic of today's lecture is on GIS applications. Let's review some examples. If you know more examples, do not forget to mention them in our course discussion sections. Every day, millions of decisions are being powered by geographic information systems, from pinpointing new store locations, to predicting climate change, to reporting power outages, to analyzing crime patterns. You might be wondering, but why we use GIS? Because geogra geographic problems require special thinking. In a GIS, you connect data with geography, and you understand what belongs where because you don't fully understand your data until you see how it relates to other scenes in geographic context. As seen on this, J on this slide, JS has numerous applications, and I would like to review some of them. My first example refers to applications of JS in agriculture. JS is often used to support decisions in agriculture. Some examples of such applications are following. GIS is used for precision farming. GIS could be used to harvest more bushes per hectare while spending less on fertilizer using precision farming and software. GIS is also used for disease control. GIS could be used to combat the spread of pests through by identifying critical intervention areas and efficient targeting control interventions. 3D scanners for biomass. GIS is used to measure with laser accuracy 3D biomass, for example with Faro scanner. We can use GIS for real-time crop yields, shifting to real-time crop monitoring and targeted automated response with drones and precision watering sensors. We are also using GIS for irrigating management. GIS could be used, for example, to capture irrigation infrastructure for land management decisions. And this list does not stop here, it could continue on the other different applications of GIS for agriculture. My second example is on the use of GIS to power business decisions. Some examples of such applications are following. GIS could be used for direct marketing. GIS is used for revitalizing selling strategies by reaching out to customers directly with location intelligence. GIS is also used for drive time analysis. Those analyses are usually determined a trade area based on how long a customer must drive to get to the store. This use um, takes into account factioning in street speed limits, traffic volumes and other impedance. GIS is also used for Internet of Things to improve efficiency, accuracy and economic benefits through a network of physical objects such as devices, vehicles, buildings and other items embedded with electronics, software, sensors and network connectivity that enables these objects to collect and exchange information with one another. GIS is used also for nearest allocation analysis to resolve the nearest gas station, restaurant or coffee shop using GPS-based positioning and geocoding business data, and so on. GIS is also used to empower decisions in land use planning and management. It is one of the most prominent applications of GIS. Some examples of such applications are following. We use GIS for urban model development feasibility. We can use GIS for land use conflict identification modeling, for food deserts. So, for example, GIS is, is used to access grocery stores in low-income area by incorporating information such as sidewalks, bicycle lanes, and public transport. GIS for service areas planning. We use GIS to measure how far paramedics and firefighters can service an area. Open street map. Everybody knows this JS application for land use management. Text parcel viewers. To JS is used to assemble text parcels, zoning information with color schemes on a web viewer, and so on. 
My last uh, set of examples of JS applications refer to the use of JS, JS to support decisions in climate change. For example, NASA Earth Observatory, exploring the cases and effects of climate change of our atmosphere, oceans, land and life through the use of satellite data and GIS analysis. Climate change skeptics, the use of GIS to turn skeptics into believers. Maps make climate change fi uh, findings easier for skeptics to understand and accept. Pollution modeling. Mapping air pollution sources and impacts on environment and people, bird risk and richness, using GIS to study the effects of shrinking habitats on bird population in the world, climate change design, redesigning to accommodate climate change and pinpointing those locations needed most. Land change modeler. This is a special modeling uh, tool based on JS analysis, which is incorporated in Terasat land use change modeler. We are going to talk about this uh, JS software a little bit later in this course. This J modeler, JS modeler module includes special tools for the assessment of red, reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, climate change mitigation strategies and so on. The list of the JS uh, applications is not finishing here. More applications include, for example, Internet JS applications, JS for crime applications, insurance applications, humanitarian applications, environmental and energy applications, real estate applications, use of JS for transportation planning, utilities applications, open technology techni um, applications, and many others.